Yeah, not only are we seeing the hot temperatures, we are up to about 29 100 plus degree days so far this year and today is the warmest of all of them. We're currently sitting at 107. The uh, the warmest we've seen in Sacramento so far this year was 106. That was last month when we had one of the uh, about a six day heat wave in place. Now we're at 2900 plus degree days and sitting at 107 uh, at the last check 102 Elk Grove. But look at all these temperatures Stockton, Fairfield, both of which are at 107 Williams sitting at 108. So this is probably the warmest of these of this heat wave at this point. Heat advisories are in effect for the Valley and Foothill locations all the way through Friday. Uh, and it's not only because of how warm it is during the day, but also because of the lack of a cool down at night. Look at the foothills temperatures down to about lower 80s starting off the day tomorrow. Uh, a lot of this has to do with the lack of that Delta breeze to bring in some of that cooler air later in the day. So it's going to be mild overnight and just a scorch of a day again for tomorrow back up into the middle and upper 100s and once we get beyond tomorrow temperatures are still going to be hot don't get me wrong but at least we're going to trim it back by a couple degrees so here's what's going on high pressure and control across much of the western u.s giving us this excessive warm pattern in place lots of heat jet stream way up north as we get toward the weekend the pattern is going to finally start to change what we're going to begin to see is an area of low pressure just off the coastline it's going to allow that delta breeze to return and that's all we need just to del that delta Delta breeze to bring those temperatures back down by Sunday. We're going to be back into lower 90s. So quite the difference by the uh, time the weekend is all said and done. Also new for the Sierra red flag warnings are in effect across uh, parts of Sierra and Plumas counties from tomorrow afternoon through Thursday morning. Why? Well, some thunderstorms are returning back to the area coming in from the south. We're already seeing some of that monsoonal moisture pushing northward and look at all this lightning too. So tomorrow we're going to see a lot more of this for the north with a good amount of lightning, but with dry thunderstorms. And keep in mind when you get uh, those th thunderstorms around caused by a fire caused by lightning strikes. Those storms can still put down some uh, gusty winds without the precipitation. So that's why we're going to be worried about throughout the afternoon, evening hours tomorrow and tomorrow night for the higher elevations. Uh, otherwise, the heat will continue for the valley and the foothills for the next several days. Look at the forecast through Friday 102 100 on Saturday and then by Sunday. Temperatures going back to where we should be this time of year and normally uh, it doesn't feel all that cool, but I'll tell you this from Saturday to Sunday following this stretch 93 degrees. It's not going to feel all that bad. Something to look forward to by the time the weekend is all said and done.